Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1088. And if you want to download this workbook, 1086 to 1088, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to get all the B7s from across these sheets. And the sheets happen to be named 01, 02, 03. And in each one of these sheets, we have a template. And we need to get all those B7s all the way out to this 12. All right, so we're going to come back over here. Here's another video reference that does the same thing where the sheet names are not 010203. Well, we could do sheet references. Equals, click on the sheet, click on B7, enter. Equals, click on the sheet, click on B7, enter. But we don't want to do that. Now notice, sheet references have certain syntax. Single apostrophe, single apostrophe around the sheet name, and then an explanation point. That tells the formula, hey, that's a legal name for a sheet reference. But notice when we copy it down, the only thing that changed is the 0 and the 2. Well, luckily, there's a function where we can uh, create a references text and it will convert it back to a reference. And we're going to use the indirect function, indirect. So we could type at this whole thing out. And it's got to be in double quotes. So you ready? Double quotes. And then I need a single quote. I know that gets uh, confusing. Then we want 0. Whoops, I didn't do a single quote. I did a, a comma. Single quote, 0, 1, and single quote explanation point B7 in double quotes, close parentheses. That's just to show you how this works. And it went ahead and got that uh, 260. Now all we're going to do is instead of 01, if we have our sheet names boop, to the left, I'm going to join that. Now I need to put an end double quote for that first single apostrophe. So watch this, end double quote, ampersand, ampersand, end double quote. Now, this whole little bit here is one is a bit of text string. That right there is just double quote with a single text string. And then I can join it. That's the join symbol, Shift 7. And in the middle, I will put this cell reference. Now, this is not going to work. Control, Enter, double click, and send it out. But wait a second. It's working down here for the 10. Yeah, 0, 09 is something that we could actually have entered this as text, but it wasn't. That's custom number formatting. No problem. We could put that in as text, and that formula would work. But let's see how to do it. We want these as numbers for whatever reason. In fact, let's just copy this over here, and we'll look at that. Whoops, I can't copy that. Control C. Control V. Now let's come over here. Control 1, and then the deadly text. Click OK. Oh, that still didn't work. But now we could come through and add zeros. And you get the idea. So that would work if we wanted them as text. But if we had them as numbers, well, I'm going to steal this formula here. We just need to apply on that A2 a custom number format in the formula. So I'm going to come over here, Control V. And we're going to use the text function. The text function, it takes that value, comma, and then in double quotes, we need our custom number format. Double quote, 0, 0. That's the custom number format for please show a lead 0. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now, we have all of our sheet names here. But the nice thing about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way to 12, or 0, 1, 0, 2, is we actually don't even need the sheet name. So if you wanted the sheet names, right, that makes sense. You need to know where the where the total came from, sheet 01. But what if you didn't want them? No problem. We can use a formula number incrementer. Copy, Control V, and then right there, I want 1, 2, 3, 4 as I copy down. So I use my number incrementer rows. And I'm sitting in D2. So I type a D dollar sign 2 to lock the first two, colon D2. The first two is locked. The second two is not. That's an expandable range. Rows counts how many rows. 2 to 2, that's 1. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. At any point, I can see here 2 to 8. That is 7. So boom, there you go. And then we could go ahead and do it. 
one of four, let's see, one of one, two, three different ways. All right, we'll see you next video.